Uh, hi guys, welcome. Um, today in our video we're going to talk a little bit about the early DP290 legs with the reversing clasp. Oh, that's what I call it. Um, I've got Dave on the camera behind me. Um, you can't see him but he's somewhere around. I think he's being filmed. Um, and it's just a little video to explain about one of the problems we have on these legs. Um, the later ones, the actual hydraulic ram is coupled to the carriage so you don't really get this problem but on the early ones what can happen is when you select reverse gear the outdrive um, lifts up and can drop down with quite an alarming clunk and it's something i get asked about so what we will do is we'll show you a very quick and easy way of hopefully being able to free them off It's moving that, but not the clasp. Yeah. It's moving quite freely now, look. Yeah. Can you see how the clasp in? Yeah. That's the clasp there, so. Right, yeah. All of this is sea solid. It's sea solid. You see it there. moving there? Yeah. It's got all sorts of marine growth on it. Yeah. We've got a clasp. Let's move that muscle out of it. And this clasp here prevents the leg from jumping when we go into reverse gear. Essentially, the leg could flick up by doing like this one is here. And how that's operated is via this rod. Travels through a drilling in the leg. Can you see that? This one. Yep. Through drilling in the leg and pops out here. And if I try and move it, you should be able to see. Although on this one again, it's seized. You can just see this arm here starting to operate. If I get something to lever it, you know, let me see a bit more clearly. And you see it moving there, look. And what should happen is all of this should be free and easy to manoeuvre. It has a couple of return springs here. And what should happen... What you've got is, the, is a hook mechanism. And the idea is, is when you go into anything other than reverse gear, it's up. When we select reverse, this rod is pushed, the hook is, is clasped and it prevents the leg from flying up. What happens is this mechanism that this tilts on seizes and when you go for the gear it's either very difficult to engage or the hook doesn't engage properly and then the leg is free to elevate it up when, when we put it in reverse and the thrust is pulling the leg upwards. So the customer complains or yourselves, you go into reverse and the leg flicks up. Unfortunately it's a quite a simple mechanical device and other than removing the boat from the water, getting in there, freeing it off with some penetrating fluid and moving it around, it's the only way. It's very good in the respect that it's simple technology. It's bad in the, res the respect that if it isn't used a lot, you can see the growth on here. Things soon start to seize up. Right guys, so here we are with the clasp mechanism. And now it's been freed off, I can try and show you again. So. You can now see this is happily springing and operating as it should against spring pressure. We've also got the operating clasp, which is this piece here. And you can now see that that's operating freely. And that's operated via the rod, which travels from the selector here all the way through a drilling in here and just simply pushes on the back of here to release it so that we can have a position where it's either on or it's off. And before you may have remembered that we had to lever it physically, it was that seized up. And now I can operate this absolutely easily and smoothly with my fingers. This is the earlier type of DP leg, and it's where the hydraulic ram here is not attached to the carriage. It's 
purely just rests upon it and relies on this clamp to hold it to it. The later legs, the ram is actually attached onto here with a pivot pin.